Hey, how is it going everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel of Petroleum from Scratch. I'm Jayesh Chahar and in this particular course, we are going to make a streamlit tap. So in our previous video, as I've shown, our final output will look like this particular thing. So let's start the coding, right? I hope everyone has installed uh, the uh, streamlit library inside your local system by just running the code pip install streamlit uh, in, uh, inside your terminal. So let's start. So I have made this particular directory itself in my local system uh, with the name of PFS. And here I will start with the new uh, Python script. Let's name it as main.py. Right. So our step, first step will be importing my Streamlit library. So let's import my Streamlit library by just using import stream as st, right. Now we will go step by step. So after importing this Streamlit library, let's first make a page, the page that we have shown here, right? This particular page type of structure, right? So for doing that, let's start with the title only, this particular title only. So for uh, giving the title inside your page or inside your app, you can just use st.title. And inside it, you can just pass the title, whatever title you want to pass. So let's name it as dynamic pressure profile. Right, so this will uh, give the title in that particular area, and if you see this particular app, your complete uh, application or this particular dashboard is divided into two parts. One is this particular part. This is your main part, and second is this one. This is your sidebar. Inside your sidebar, uh, you can also uh, provide multiple things. For example, I have provided here inputs, but if you want to. Uh, make a large app where there can be different different applications inside that one app only you can also provide the buttons for those app so here uh, i'm using my side sidebar for providing the inputs and my main bar for showing the my pressure profile graph right so when uh if i see my this particular code i have provided as to title dynamic uh, dynamic pressure profile as my title now if I run this particular code, how to run this particular code? Let's open up a new terminal. Take a little bit of time for initializing my terminal. Right, so it is present inside my this particular location only, inside my this particular directory where my main.py is there, right? You just write stream lit run main.py. So this streamlit run command is used for running your uh, application uh, in the application uh, Python script, wherever, whatever name you have given to your Python script, just write that particular name of Python script and just run this streamlit run command. So it will initialize one local host for me for this particular main.py script only. Here you can see this is present at 8502. So my previous uh, app, but the my final product app is present at localhost 8501 and the one that we are making is present at 8502 so here you can see the title has been provided dynamic pressure profile uh, there is nothing inside my sidebar because i haven't provided anything for my sidebar yet so let's change the code itself and remember my app is running in the background only so for providing the title of my sidebar thing what i can use inside my st there is this sidebar where you can put all the functions for your sidebar. So if, inside my sidebar, I also want to give the title and the title will be, let's say, inputs. inputs. And I'm uh, doing nothing. My uh, autosave is on. So the, all the commands that I am writing will be autosave. Now, if I go to the, that particular page again, inside my browser, you can see it here uh, that it is popping up that source file has been changed. So now your streamlit know that you have changed some of the code inside your source file, your main.py. So uh, to let that particular thing take effect and be shown here, what you can do, you can rerun your uh, rerun your app. So here there is this option of rerun. So let's rerun this particular thing. And here you can see your sidebar has also uh, made up and where the title is input, right? So in this way, you can came up with the sidebar and uh, provide the title. In the next video, uh, we are going to start with the backend coding on how to make all those buttons and input things and how to make the clothes. So see you in the next one. Bye. Happy learning.